Something that we feel compelled to do rarely brings a sense of self-fulfillment and joy. This uh, lesson, this life lesson, was reinforced in my own personal life, oddly enough, in the middle of a lake while being dragged by a boat. I always knew that I would love to water ski. Growing up on the, around the lakes and reservoirs in southeastern Idaho, I knew about the sport, but I, life on a farm really didn't afford me the opportunity to, to experience it firsthand. Well, you can imagine my delight years later when I found out that Cindy's family were water skiers and they actually had a boat. Cindy's brothers took me out water skiing a couple times and I was hooked. So, I really enjoyed it, but unfortunately, we were headed off to the Midwest so I could go to dental school. As soon as we were able, we bought a family boat. One evening, not long after we bought the boat, I invited our friend Bob to go water skiing with us. Well, Bob shows up with his own personal slalom water ski. Now, showing up with your own personal water ski when you get invited boating is somewhat similar to me showing up at the neighborhood pool party with just my Speedo. <laughs> it really builds expectations. It raises the bar really, really high. <laughs> well, unfortunately, Bob really didn't need to bring his water ski. His skill level didn't match that need. But I had a vision. I was no longer going to double ski. And th th up to that point, what I would do is I'd get up on two skis, drop a ski, and then somebody would have to throw a life jacket over the side, and then we'd have to go back and retrieve the ski. I wasn't doing that anymore. That was no longer an option. I was going to learn to slalom ski. So I went to the local ski shop and talked to my friend Don. And Don gave me some tips. Using Don's tips, I was able to get up first try. Well, as I skied along, I soon found myself outside of the wake. Now, to a novice skier, the wake seems pretty insurmountable. I don't know why. It's not that big. But anyway, if you approach the wake timidly, you get caught in the little trough of water out here on the side. In order to get across the wake, you have to commit. You have to decide you're going to cross the wake Absorb the impact with your knees, and you'll be fine. So, if you want, but if you want to enjoy water skiing, you have to make that choice. You can either be dragged around by the boat, or you can commit and cross the wake. Once you cross the wake, the whole lake becomes your playground. For me, there's nothing more fulfilling than being on the lake on a warm summer day with my family. So, something that you feel compelled to do, rather something that you choose to do, rarely produces any sense of self-fulfillment.